Welcome to Starfield. This is Jim. We are back here again today. We're going to continue on our little quest for more temples with power from beyond. After completing the main story quest line several episodes ago. So basically, how it goes is once when you complete revelations, the last main story quest line is called One Giant Leap. And that's once when you complete that, you become a Starborn. You get your Starborn ship and you can check out that video. However, once when you complete Revelations, you'll be prompted to collect more power from beyond. Because that is one thing that you keep after you become a Starborn. You basically start the game over again, but as a Starborn. But you keep all your power from beyond that you have collected. And I believe that's how that's that's why it's set up like this. Uh, so we're here at the lodge and we're here to talk to Vladimir. Now we have completed uh, several already, but once when you complete a couple, you have to go back to Vladimir to get more temple locations. So here we go. Here's our For buddy Vladimir. On a few Let's go ahead and talk to him. Still need to leave. Found one. Easy as a needle in this stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. Got enough eagles in Constellation. Okay. So we actually need a uh, graph jump range of 28 LY to reach the most isolated parts of the map. Okay. So let's see what we got uh, for starships here. 28 LY. All right, so we got the transpo. So this is uh, 30 LY, so we should be able to use this guy here. All right, so how do I make this my ship? So I think I got to go do that at the cargo Captain bay or Jim. the docks there. Let's go ahead. And awaiting. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the starship there. I'm wondering if it wouldn't let me because I was inside that building. So it's not giving me the option to make it my own home ship. So let's head to the uh, Star Eagle. And then we'll talk to the fella on the, uh, in that area. All right, let's exit the ship. Security here is so visible. I suppose right, let's talk to this guy here. Comfortable. Most people, anyway. If you have modified my ships. Sure, how about it? All right, so, okay, good stuff, so... All right, so this is where we would switch our home ship. Let's make it this guy here, make home ship, so there we go. There we go. Stuff, it's exit out. So that particular ship there doesn't have, uh... <laughs> doesn't have a whole lot of weapons on it. So we're gonna have to see how she goes here. Let's check out the old star map here. Let's check out where we got to go here. So that's one the one thing you'll find if you're new to this game, you'll look at you know these stars, okay, <laughs> on the map, and you're like, okay, why do I need a higher ground? It's just the way it is. It's just maybe further off in the distance. You see how these ones are? They look like they're closer because they're bigger. That's how I take it, because that's what I've noticed in the game of it being <laughs> like. Uh, so let's go ahead, we're gonna set a course here. It's always good to have a couple ships available to you. All right. Uh, so this particular power is uh, acquired power from Lighten's Rock. Good stuff. And again, on the star map, looks like it's just a single 
celestial body there around the sun. And that's it right there. So it looks like it's close to these guys, but you, it, I think it's further off in the distance. That's the re reason why you need a higher uh, grav drive. Let's go ahead and land her. Let's give it a, a little quick scan here. There we go. It wouldn't let me for a second there. I don't know why. It's good to kind of go through this stuff because uh, a lot of people might be unaware. They just may have gone through the main story quest line and never really did any exploring. So it's good to kind of go through the stuff so we know how to deal with it when it comes. Okay, so there we go. Now that we're landing, we're going to open up our scanner. And we're going to check for distortions. It looks like it's this way. So we obviously we look for uh, the most uh, distortions in the area. And there's a structure over there. So let's go over there and check that out. Gravity's pretty uh, good here, so can't really do much flying. Oh, they're not really coming up as anything interesting. Now, if you're not too sure, uh, you can always open up your scanner just to make sure there's, your scanner is still being distorted and you're going in the right spot. But uh, those of you who have been following my episodes, and maybe this, this is your first time coming across my episodes, but you'll see it eventually pop up, update itself, where it'll come up with that... Uh, hexagon type marker turquoise marker now, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it up that hill but uh, we'll see here that's what I think I find in this game I've tried to go up hills that I think I should be able to get up <laughs> and uh, unsuccessful sometimes but okay that's not too bad I guess here we go Oh, nice. That's quite a that's quite a ways away. Now, for the most part, these things, uh, temple, kappa. For the most part, these are the same. Uh, there's been very slight differences that I've noticed between some of them. But we just kind of look for the little doorway. Some of the door, sometimes the doorways are ex extremely easy to find, and other temples, uh, they're like on the other side of the uh, the structure from where you're coming from. So, uh, but for the most part, they're fairly easy. All right, let's go ahead and go inside here. Temple Kappa. Now, that's when you're inside, of course. There's like no, no gravity, so you just kind of float up in the air here. And then you'll see the rings come up out of the floor. And then we look for the little star clusters that will kind of gather. And all we do is we just, I just use the, uh, the left analog stick that I use to move my character around to uh, push him through the little star cluster. I don't use my booster pack because it'll be too much. And you just kind of follow them around the room. That's all you do. You just move your body through them. Now, it's not consistent enough. Sometimes it takes shorter amount of time. Sometimes it takes longer. And I haven't been able to figure out why that is. There's not a whole lot that makes sense when it comes down to this. But he's on the other side of the room. I don't know if we're going to make it. They are just t it is time since the house kind of dissipating there.
Yeah, you can feel it in your controller if you have your vibration on. You'll be able to know. You can tell that when it's starting to get to that point. All right, let's go inside. Get stuff. Now, once when we get outside, the power that we get is going to come up on the screen really fast. And if you're leveling up at the same time, <laughs> you're not going to be able to see what it is. And then we got a Starborn Guardian we have to deal with outside. So just be on the lookout for that. Sunless space. Oh, he's there. See how he comes up on you sometimes? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Did I get him? I did. Okay, good stuff. Nope. Where is he? Right there. It's hiding behind there. Look at that. <laughs> so much for being to starboard. Eh? He's hiding in this little crevice. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I almost died there. It's alright. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's take a look at that power. If I can remember what it's called. Sunless space. Is that what it was? Yeah. Introduce your enemies to their cold of space, freezing them in their tracks. 35 power costs. Yeah, that must have been it. Sunless space. Cool. Let's take a look at that again. So you can tell eight undiscovered temples now. If you were to watch my playthrough before I completed Revelations, uh, there was maybe about two or three temples left. And then I completed Revelations, but it, it wouldn't give me any option to look for any more temples, like not even seeing Vladimir. So it forced me to do Revelations, completed Revelations, and it popped up with, you know, I think it was like 12 or 13 undiscovered temples. Kind of, kind of odd. Uh, but just in case if you see that in your playthrough, that's what I'm finding in my playthrough. Just to kind of... Sure, just to kind of compare. Alright, there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have a chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwind138. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.